Hey friend, I want to talk today about the necessity of having both clean hands and a pure heart, and they're not the same thing. The two things and two separate issues, all right? Clean hands and a pure heart when it comes to experiencing God and even seeing results when you pray. I was just in my prayer room over there meditating on James 4, 7, and 8. And uh, I have found this marinade. I had lost this one for a couple uh, of months. I just found this in my wife's car the other day. But those of you who don't know what a marinade is, you haven't been watching Oil Patch Pulpit very long. But I talk about the necessity of marinating your mind in the Word of God. And so I'll, uh, every scripture that I memorize or I meditate on, I write it down in a book like this one. And then I go through back and forth meditating. And we even created an app which you can get if you have an iPhone. Uh, Marinade Bible Meditation app. Make sure you download it. It's free for you. Cost us a fortune. But uh, Marinade Bible Meditation app. And if you want to learn how to use it, because it has lots of features, you're not going to figure out. Amazing features, this app. Go to marinadeapp.com. I made a little website just for this. Marinadeapp.com. And I made 13 short videos to teach you how to marinate your mind in the Word of God. Nothing, nothing, nothing will change your life more than meditating and marinating your heart and mind in God's Word. That app and that, that website will teach you how to do that in short order. And so make sure you do that. But uh, the Lord never lets me take my phone into my prayer room. We have a rule about that. And so I have my marinade not only on my phone, but also I write them and fill these books with them. And so I was in there meditating. This was actually the first marinade book that I ever created and filled. And uh, I lost this for a couple months, but I found it the other day in my wife's car. And on the very first page uh, of this one is James 4, 7, and 8. Scripture I just love. It says this, Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Don't stop reading. This is where most people stop. Because that's really what we're after. If you're kingdom, you watch all patch Paul, but you're, you're kind of one of those kingdom people. You're hungry for the presence and the glory, all right? Come near to God. Come near. That's what I want. Come near to me, Lord. James goes on. He says, wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Now, you think, oh, he must be talking to someone else now. No, he's still talking to Christians. He's been talking to Christians the whole chapter. Earlier on, a few verses earlier, verse 3, he, he's saying, you, you ask, you pray, you ask, but you don't see any results because you ask with wrong motives. He's talking to Christians who love God and are pursuing God, but see no results when they pray, and they're not really experiencing the presence of the Lord. And he makes this assumption about them. Number one, they have sin in their lives. And number two, they have impure hearts, which causes them to be double-minded. He says, wash your hands, you sinners, hands and heart. Okay, friends, say that with me. Hands and hearts. Hands deal with sins that you might commit. Heart deals with what are you pouring into yourself and are you clean on the inside. Hands deal with more like outward sins. Heart deals with the stuff in the inside. And he says, you've got to have both. And we, we see this in other passages of scripture. Uh, actually, this morning I was meditating and just looking at different places through the scripture. There's many, many places where you'll see your hands and your heart both have to be engaged if you really want to experience the presence of God. Psalm 24 verse 3 says, who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands, and a pure heart. I often preach on holiness because I'm a kingdom preacher and holiness, clean hands you might say, turning from sin, repenting of sin, leaving sin. Holiness is a necessity if you want to live a kingdom life. But it's not the only ingredient. It's not only necessary that we have clean hands. It's also necessary that we have pure hearts. And the way we have pure hearts is by spending time with Him. It's not just turning from your sins, 
but it's also turning to Jesus. It's what I was doing this morning when I was in my prayer room, on my knees, just meditating on the scripture. Remember, Jesus is the living word. When you meditate on the word and you fill your heart with the word, you're filling your heart with Christ. As I'm in there, I'm meditating, I'm memorizing, I'm chewing on these scriptures, and I'm talking to Jesus about him, about the word of God. I, I don't read my Bible and then pray. I, I mix them together. I'm meditating and I'm praying. And this is called relationship with Jesus. For those of you who get bored when you pray, it's probably because you're not meditating on the word of God when you pray. The word of God is the greatest key to a powerful prayer life. Listen, the Word of God, meditating, memorizing Scripture, and chewing it over is the greatest key to a powerful prayer life because you go in there not knowing what to say. And that's what Paul says. Uh, you know, we don't know what to say. But listen, as you meditate on God's Word, then the prayer just starts jumping out of you. You know, I'm meditating on something. I'll say, God, did you really say that? Do you really mean that? Oh, thank you for this promise. Help me to enter into it. Give me the faith that I need to receive it. And so meditation uh, and med marinating on the Word of God and talking to Jesus and spending time with Him, that is the key to effective prayer. What happens is the Word of God washes us, cleanses us. We're, washed by the we're, we're cleansed by the washing of the water of the Word, the Bible says. And what happens is you end up leaving the prayer room with a pure heart. You're not gonna get a pure heart just by quitting smoking, okay? You're not gonna get a pure heart just because you stopped looking at porn. Purity of heart comes from spending time with Jesus. And the result of that, James uh, alludes to this, is it leads to a life that is not double-minded, okay? He says, purify your hearts, you double-minded. He's assuming that if you're double-minded, you don't have a pure heart. And if you don't have a pure heart, you will be double-minded. You say, what's double-minded? Double-minded means some days you're up, some days you're down. Is that you? Double-minded means some days you believe God and some days you don't. Double-minded means some days God can trust you and some days He can't. Double-minded means that uh, some days you're going to say yes to God and no to sin, and some days you're going to say yes to sin and no to God. Friend, if you're up and down, up and down, the reason is because you don't have a pure heart. Okay, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm just telling you a fact. This is a biblical fact. And if you don't have a pure heart, it's because you're not spending enough time with Jesus. And so here's your homework today. Yes, repent, turn from your sins. But maybe you've already done that. Maybe you've dealt with the major stuff that you can see. Make some time for Jesus. Take the Word of God. Take your Bible. Take your marinade. Take your app. If God lets you take your app into the prayer room. Meditate on the Word. Marinate your mind. Spend time with Him. Talk to Him. And watch what happens. He'll purify your heart. And when you leave the prayer room, you'll find you're not nearly as double-minded as you were before. Do this every day for a week or a month. You won't be double-minded at all. You'll be a person who believes God, trusts God, and wakes up. And I just pray that when I get out of bed, the devil gets nervous. Why? Because I'm not double-minded. Because I'm a man with clean hands and a pure heart. i got a vision for God, and I'm going to fulfill it in Jesus' name. I pray that's true for you. Too. Listen, if you haven't already, make sure you sign up for Oil Patch Pulpit, uh, our, feed, uh, our, um, our email list. If you haven't, uh, don't trust Facebook or, or social media to get all these messages to you. Uh, you won't hear most of them. Join our community. All you have to do is send me an email to feedback at oilpatchpulpit.com. And by the way, if you're in business, uh, remember this, if you're in business or you feel a call to business or marketplace or wealth creation, make sure you send me a sp special email and just also same email, feedback at oilpatchpulpit.com. But just send me a note and say, Steve, send me your business stuff too, because we're going to be doing uh, in the future here some special episodes on business and wealth creation. 
and that sort of thing. And uh, we're going to have kind of a group that I'm going to send some stuff. So if you're hungry for that, make sure you uh, make sure you let me know. Feedback at oilpatchpulpit.com. Anyways, hope that was a blessing to you. Like it, share it. See you soon.